Hello boxing fans, Anthony with Bleacher Bums Gaming and we are here with a showcase fight of the new middleweight card set and tonight's fight features the Michigan Assassin Stanley Ketchell against John the Beast Mugabe and two very powerful middleweights um, both of them are susceptible to knockouts, Mugabe more so, but Mugabe also has the Blitzkrieg trait, meaning he is a fast starter, so his power will actually be a seven for the first two rounds and will then revert to a six. So these cards, uh, first shipments went out Saturday, and you'll notice these cards um, are a little thinner than the other um, issues, or yeah, the other sets issued. These are definitely 110 card stock, and they're still good quality cards, but uh, it kind of confirms my suspicion that the printer uh, inadvertently put the earlier sets on card stock thicker than 110, because I, I know, like I said, I know for sure these are 110 and still good quality 110, but um, I do have a message into them regarding that, and I'll, I'll post something about that on the forum. It's, it's, Again, I know I probably was lucky to get a thicker card set by error uh, on earlier sets, um, but I, I did pose the question to the printer. And again, nothing wrong with the cards, but you'll definitely notice if you hold the stack of 100 up to the uh, lightweight set that it's uh, noticeably a short or so. Just a heads up there, and once the printer gets back to me, um, I'm, I'm very interested to hear what he has to say, uh, but I'll, uh, I'll update that as well. But regardless, again, not a thing wrong with the cards, just uh, that one, I guess, cosmetic, or I, you could say durability as aspect, but again, these are still very, very good quality cards. The finish is good, print's good, so. But we'll get on to the fight. And Michigan Assassin Ketchell, he has the closer trait, uh, plus one to his opponent's will rate uh, on a possible TKO check, and plus three if uh, Mugabe is tired, which that is the big uh, chink in his armor. He only has a stamina of 55. Mugabe notoriously uh, very potent for the first five or six rounds, and then he would lose steam quickly, and that was... That was exploited in several fights, but none more so than Marvin Hagler, where he was absolutely exhausted uh, by the ninth round, where Hagler uh, came on to stop him. And still dangerous, even when tired, but uh, that's something that will be uh, worth keeping an eye on here if it gets past four or five rounds, how Mugabe's stamina holds up. So we are set to go, and this should be a slugfest for as long as it lasts. Opening bell rings, and we are going to start out with Mugabe from the inside, having immediate control, and Ketchel will be on the defensive. And that is going to be, uh, would have been a possible knockdown, ends up being a clinch instead, fortunate for Ketchel there. As we go to segment number two. And it's going to be one star to one star, toe to toe from the inside. They're going to go and catch Mugabe first since he had momentum. And 90 again would have been a possible knockdown and again a clinch. So Mugabe, very, very cautious at this point against the Michigan Assassin, fighting him like Papke did in their fourth fight. And this time Ketchel is going to take control. And this will be from the inside. Mugabe on the defense, 44, and Ketchel does not miss. He lands, and that's going to be a hook and two crosses and a possible knockdown. So chin check for Mugabe, six or less. He could be hurt, and 12 shakes that off. So fortunate there, just not solid enough for uh, Ketchel. Two minutes left to go in the opening stanza, and it's going to be one star each. Toe to toe from the inside they go. Ketchel goes first with momentum. And a 0 8 and no potential knockdown there, but he lets the hands go. Four big heavy punches get through. Seven punches landed for Ketchel. Mugabe fires back, and he lets the hands go as well. Lands four of his own. So a great exchange there. One minute, 40 seconds to go in the opening round. And we're going to go two stars for Mugabe on the inside. He has control. And 65, and again the opportunity to connect and misses. Whoops. And Ketchel misses the counter. One minute, 20 seconds to go in the opening round. And six and a four, two stars each, toe-to-toe -to -toe outside. Ketchel goes first. 
52 from the outside, and he is not very adept there. He misses. Mugabe needs 44 or less to land. He misses as well, so a minute left in the round. And both fighters, outside of that one good exchange, been a very uh, tentative round. Two stars each from the inside, toe-to-toe -to -toe again. Ketchell first. Ketchell lets the hands go. He misses Mugabe. Looking for the opportunity to score, and 21 lets his hands go, and three punches get through. Rips a jab and a double cross, so 7-7, seven, seven, 40 seconds to go in the round. Let's see if things heat up uh, these last two segments. Going to be two stars for Ketchell on the inside, Mugabe on the defense. Ketchell lets the hands go, 93, and instead lets the hands go just long enough to grab Mugabe. Another clinch. Kind of surprising with these two. I guess they've both been cautious. Outside, Mugabe in control. Catch lens around on the defense, going to be a potential cut. And 27 from the outside. Three punches land, and Ketchell's cut rating doesn't cut easily. It's a five. And five, he does cut here, though. A uh, total of 16, and that's going to be a cut on his left cheek as the round comes to an end. So Mugabe, 10 punches landed to seven total. And Ketchell, his stamina is almost double Mugabe. He started with 90, so that's going to take him down to 80. And Ketchell, or uh, Mugabe, goes to 48. So close round, kind of surprising. There are a lot of grabbing. Uh, we'll do the scoring here. And again, a three-point, a three-punch differential. All right, close round number one. Fighters are up off their stools. Round number two underway. Here we go. And fives for each of them. That's going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe from the inside. Mugabe goes first as he finished the last round with control. And 82 misses his opportunity. Catchell fires back. 32 hook. Two crosses land. Three punches get home and a possible cut for Mugabe. And Mugabe, he is a six. And he's going to be damaged around the face area as well. He's going to have swelling around the left eye. So two minutes, 40 seconds to go in round number two, and Ketchell, good hook there. Oh, mouses up Mugabe, and it's going to be two stars from the outside for Ketchell. He's in control, Mugabe on defense. 31, and that's going to be three punches land, and Mugabe's defense, five. He's going to add one to it, so four punches land for the Michigan Assassin. And on we go. One, two minutes, 20 seconds to go in the round, and two stars again from the inside. Ketchell with control. 72, Ketchell misses. Mugabe looking to counter. 19 does not. Two minutes to go in the round number two. And two stars from the outside, Ketchell in control. Possible knockdown, 15, and heavy rights and lefts land. Four punches total, and chin check for Mugabe. And again, six or less, and two, Mugabe is down. He is down here in round number two. KO if he is four or less, and that's an 11. He's back up, and that knockdown was for a six count. So Ketchell, puts Mugabe down for six seconds and he is going to be stunned. So Ketchell, unopposed action, it's going to come from the inside where he likes to fight. His power is a 10 now with Mugabe hurt. And he lets the hands go and it's going to be another potential knockdown. 39 from the inside, three more punches land. Mugabe is in serious trouble here. So first we will do a chin check, then we have to do a TKO check if he survives that. And Mugabe being hurt, uh, this happened during a hurt, it's going to go 9 to 6 and 20, he survives that. Let's do a will check now, 5 or less, this fight's over, and 3, that's it, referee jumps in, waves it off. Mugabe taking tremendous punishment along the ropes, and Stanley Ketchell, in a battle of extreme punchers, gets his big shot home first. And referee forced to step in. Mugabe helps us along the ropes. The end comes here in the second round. And fifth segment, a three. And that is going to be one minute and 32 seconds of round number two. So your official decision 
After a very tentative first round, Ketchell opens up on Mugabe, manages to catch him on the button, drops him, and then pounds him into submission among the, along the ropes. So the winner by TKO at 1 minute and 32 seconds of round number two, the Michigan assassin, Stanley Ketchell. So the result of that matchup does not surprise me in the slightest. Um, and technically it could have gone to either man in that fashion. Uh, Mugabe, uh, not quite as solid a chin as Ketchell. Um, Ketchell had a two for a knockdown, three for a knockout. Mugabe four and four, it went fresh. And uh, Wilczek, four for Ketchell and five for Mugabe. And that's what hurt Mugabe, taking those unanswered shots along the ropes. So, I think if you fought these guys 10 times, uh, my prediction would probably be Ketchell winning seven, well, I'd say eight of them, and Mugabe uh, winning two just based on the power factor. But that's what happens when big sluggers get in the ring. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of big punchers in this middleweight set. Um, also, a lot of guys with very solid chins, though, so you'll see a lot of potential knockdowns that don't come to fruition because of uh, successful chin checks. And Mugabe's chin is probably a little bit less than average. Uh, Ketchell's chin, probably right around average. Uh, I, I look at average uh, as terms of a chin check, two or three for a knockdown opportunity, and then a three or four for a knockout opportunity. Uh, so that is it. And again, I'm very excited for this middleweight set, as I mentioned. Um, got a nice... Uh, a good, good bunch of orders uh, when it went on sale Friday and appreciate everyone who ordered this. I think you're going to like this set. Uh, we'll be moving on to the welterweight set next. And again, if you do want to order this set or haven't ordered the game yet and are interested, uh, you can get a bundle uh, which includes the game and all three boxer sets released to date or uh, the middleweight set is now up at sidelinestrategy.com. And don't, rem uh, don't forget to check the resources page there as well for uh, extra score sheets and other freebies such as the fast action cards if you want to do that for control check as well as a timing mechanism in uh, lieu of the uh, two six-sided dice. And also strategy cards on there as well, uh, free PDF, uh, PDF downloads. One thing that I will be working on, and I'll have a, a bigger update as we move into 2020 uh, concerning you know, some cosmetic things with the game, such as packaging uh, that I'm looking at, as well as some free uh, modules that are going to be released. One thing I'm working on is a uh, career a career adjuster where you can start fights as beginners and it'll adjust some of their traits and then also subsequently when they get to the point where they are aging, uh, some adjustments to the traits as well that make it more susceptible for them to lose. And again, Walter Waite set is on the pipeline next. And after that, uh, either a fictional set, which would be 50 middleweights and 50 heavyweights, or a, a lighter weight such as Bantam or Feather. And we'll see how the community, uh, what the feeling is in the community for what's uh, desired after the Walter Waite set. So as always, thank you again for the support of the game. Thanks for watching the channel. Uh, please hit that thumbs up button and recommend the channel and or the game to your friends if they are interested in boxing. And until next time, keep rolling for that knockout and we'll see. I hope you all had a great weekend and a great Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you.